www.thebrotherhoodpodcast.com. Hi, uh, today I asked on Twitter if there were any good examples of uh, Facebook pages and uh, um, then if someone gave me an example I would show them how to do it and uh, so uh, I got uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's uh, page as a tip and uh, they asked me how they could do this uh, this presentation page I guess because the other ones up here they are just simple uh, add-on applications but this one is a bit tricky um, or it's not it's actually quite simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it in under 10 minutes here uh, as you can see here as I hover the page there is this thing read more on about page that shows up and it doesn't show up and it shows up so it's a kind of a hover effect so I created uh, one image here and the image shows you both uh, the look of um, uh, before you hover the area and the look after you hover the area what you also need is to create a sample snippet of code and I've created this and you can download it from my blog jesperastrom.com uh, and uh, basically what you do is you create two uh, or you create one uh, ID here which is Gary V example for this one and you create one hover uh, element and all you do is that you you set the width to 760 which is the current width of a Facebook canvas page and then you set the height to 300 and uh, all you do then is to take this image which is this top image here is 300 in height so you only show the top half of this image and then you uh, just move it up like you've set minus 300 pixels in height so the whole image jumps up and this stuff is hidden and this stuff it is, is displayed to the user and that is basically I guess how they've done this so this is a simple way of copying this and since you see this is a long page and so they've done repetition they've basically created several different of these images and then they've um, um, yeah, cut them into pieces and then they made hover effects for different places here and also in the code as we wanted to link somewhere I've created a send them away ID here it means nothing you can put whatever name you want uh, I've set it the width and I gave it a height and then I created a link here and a ID here that is gonna cover the area that I want linked I know there is way there there are ways in which you can do this which is uh, a little bit easier but uh, or a little bit more correct according to CSS standards but but I think this separates it neatly so that any user can use my script and uh, my script but yeah this script they can download it and then just copy and paste it onto their page So this is what we're gonna do with all Facebook pages you know you remove all the head and title stuff in top you take away body and head and you also take away these end things here then you just take this this little snippet of code you copy it I must say as well that I uploaded this uh, image to my FTP or to my server through my FTP so I go to jesperastrom.com on Facebook and go edit page and then I find uh, one of my FBML applications add another FBML box wait that was a test here we go and then I say Gary V example and then I paste the code in there, press save, and then uh, I go back to the edit mode. I scroll down to try to find Gary V example. I hit application settings. I remove the box and I add the tab because I don't want this one in the boxes tab, but I want it as a tab on its own. 
Then I go back to view page and I click this little button over here. I find Gary V example. And as you can see, as I hover this, uh, it gives the effect that we wanted. So it says, once upon a time, I was able to do cool things just like this stuff over here. And nowadays, blah, blah, you can read it on your own. Uh, here I click this image and I go to my blog. So that's about it. Uh, thank you and goodbye.